Hello there. I hope you're doing well. If you uh, or someone you know are uh, California residents who've been having difficulty paying rent uh, for the last year, if you are a renter, there is a new program, uh, and, and this is it here. It's called the California or California's COVID Rent Relief uh, Program. This website just went live uh, yesterday, March 15 and it is designed to help uh, renters pay back rent uh, starting from uh, 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 March, 30, March 31st uh, of last year, 2020, up to, uh, sorry, April 1st, uh, uh, 2020, uh, up till the end of this month, March uh, 31st, 2021. And it is basically uh, part of the stimulus package that was just uh, released, uh, uh, and they have uh, uh, over $2 billion for this program. There are two ways to apply. The best way is to get your landlord uh, to apply uh, instead of you. Uh, the landlord uh, 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 can get 80% of uh, uh, back rent uh, on the condition that he or she would uh, uh, let go of the remaining 20%. If uh, your landlord uh, doesn't want to go for this, you can apply to, but uh, uh, this program only pays 25% to the tenant. Of course, all this is pending uh, uh, qualification. You know, that depends on whether or not you qualify. Hopefully, you qualify if you need this money. So if your landlord agrees, he will get 80% of the rent uh, uh, or she, uh, uh, but 20% uh, he, he should not be able to ask you or uh, wait for it anymore. Uh, if you uh, qualify and you apply, uh, if your landlord doesn't want to, then you get 25%. And it's uh, you can get help uh, for rent as well as for uh, utilities. If you have unpaid bills, they may be able to pay you for utilities for the whole uh, uh, past year. Um, and there's more information about uh, this. Of course, I'm going to leave the link uh, uh, under this video. Uh, but I want to quickly go over it uh, here so you can see it. So it's not a uh, first come, uh, first serve uh, basis. It's basically based on qualification. And uh, so if you qualify, uh, there is a good chance you, uh, you would be able to uh, get the money because this is not like the small business uh, grant that was uh, quite limited so if you are uh, if your landlord uh, would click on i'm um, uh, a landlord it would tell him uh, or her about the program so uh, they would understand uh, uh, about the 80 20 percent uh, uh, rule and and also uh, what would make you qualify which would include uh, your income and inability to pay and they would need to provide uh, documentations uh, if you are, uh, uh, if you have to go through the uh, the application yourself, then it basically uh, asks for three requirements. You and you have to uh, meet all of these three requirements. One, so the uh, the first one is you have co uh, qualified for unemployment uh, or experienced a reduction in household income. Can go through this and second one is dem demonstrate a risk of experiencing homelessness if you're getting an eviction notice if you're getting any threats uh, uh, then uh, uh, this would be uh, part uh, uh, i number two and the, th uh, the last uh, requirement is your household must have uh, an income that is more than that that's no more than 80 percent of the area median income uh, but it does ask for other information from you, including uh, 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 proof uh, that you qualify for unemployment and uh, that your unemployment benefits have expired. 
I don't know about this. Uh, it's not part of the requirements, but it says you need to bring this these documents. I suggest if you if you need the help with rent, uh, even if you're still getting unemployment, to uh, maybe uh, contact them and uh, ask uh, if they can clarify, clarify this uh, for you. Uh, uh, so again, I'm going to leave a link uh, uh, under the video. All the best to you. Hopefully we'll come out of this uh, stronger and better. Stay strong, stay optimistic, and all the best to you.